Morning, a massive blaze sends fire crews to a scrapyard as flames ravage through just about everything, including an old bus. And a home surveillance video system captures a brutal double murder in broad daylight. Plus, reward or assistance. Controversy sparks over cash for Albuquerque police officers who've shot someone while on duty. We'll get to those top stories in just a moment. Good morning, everyone. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. I'm Ian Schwartz. Today is Saturday, March 24th. It was a beautiful day yesterday. How about today? It is going to be great. Crystal, you know it's a great day when we bust out this guy. Let's take a look. The sun, oh, the sun with is. sunglasses. <laughs> It's been a long looking time. Looking cool this morning. He's looking cool, and it is going to be a wonderful day. Getting up to near 80 degrees in some parts of Albuquerque. Great is probably the best way to describe it. So get outside and enjoy yourself. Take a look at Sandia Peak. Nice sunrise as we get going. Very clear skies through most of the state, and that'll be the story uh, for a good portion of the weekend. So let's take a look at temperatures around the state. 30 in Grants, 27 in Taos. Some of us in the 40s, some of us in the, in the 30s. 35 in Roswell, 41 in Tucumcari. 38 degrees as you step outside in Las Vegas. A little chilly in Gallup, but that's not going to last long. Very nice temperatures. Actually, a lot of us are going to have near record highs, a good 10 to 20 degrees warmer than we should be this time of year. 48 degrees right now in Albuquerque. Winds are calm north northwest at three miles per hour. Now, we're not going to be dealing with wind for today. Sunday, we will be breezy, but then things start to change. This system right here pulling onto the Pacific is going to kind of shift up our weather pattern. We're going to talk all about it and what that means for you coming up in your full forecast. Crystal. All right, thanks, Ian. New this morning, a hit and run crash in Espanola leads to gunfire. Around 6 last night, a man identified as Kevin Martinez reportedly hit someone in downtown Espanola. The victim spotted Martinez a short time later and called police. Rio Riva County Sheriff's deputies and Espanola police responded, with Martinez leading them on a chase down Highway 68, ramming several cars along the way. A deputy heard shots fired, so he shot back, aiming at the tires and engine block, disabling the vehicle. Now, Martinez was then arrested. The Albuquerque Journal is reporting there was alcohol found in the truck. As for the shots fired, officials believe the initial shots came from officers, not the suspect. No one was hurt in the shooting. Charges against Martinez are pending this morning. Cash for police involved in shootings. Police say special payments by the police union to officers involved in shootings is causing a lot of verbal sparring between Albuquerque's police chief, the mayor, and union leaders. Last night, APD's union board held an emergency meeting. This after the unions come under fire for providing cash up to $500 to police officers after they've shot someone. But they say it's no reward. We help that individual to try to get their bearings back, try to get things back together so they don't have to see the scrutiny from the media, from the news, from the paper, from wherever. They really need to get away. Union leaders say it's something the association has been doing for years, providing assistance, including money, so officers can decompress after a stressful event. But after two officer-involved shootings last week alone, there's been a lot of scrutiny. And now Police Chief Ray Schultz has asked the union to put a stop to giving officers money and instead come up with an alternative plan. The union says it will keep helping officers after a crisis situation, but they decided from here on out the entire union board will decide if cash is given to an officer. Now, the money the union gives to its members is not taxpayer dollars. It comes from dues officers pay to that union. Cold-blooded and in broad daylight, that's what surveillance video of Thursday night's double murder in southwest Albuquerque shows. One young man was shot dead in an arroyo near Unser Narinal and another on the bike path along the arroyo. APD released this video from a nearby house. It shows two young men, apparently the victims, walking when two men on bikes pass them. The guys on the bikes go back and forth a few times. Then there appears to be some sort of confrontation. One of the bike riders is seen holding out his hand with what looks like a gun. That's apparently when the shootings happened. For now, the men on the bikes are considered persons of interest. The victims' names have still not been released. New this morning, a massive fire burned through the night in an Albuquerque junkyard. It happened just before 1 this morning at Ace Metals near Desert Road and 2nd. Flames shooting more than two stories high. About 10 units from Bertolillo County Fire Department responded. A lot of scrap metal, even an old bus, caught fire. 
Crews were able to contain the blaze, but cranes were called in to move metals, tires, and large buses so fire crews can attack hot spots this morning. Just before this fire was called out, we heard reports of several bonfires in the nearby area overnight. Now, you might remember another area where a large scrapyard fire hit last year. That fire caused a health advisory because of all the smoke from the various burning materials. The weather is warming up, and that means increased danger of fires sparking up. The Bernalillo County Fire Department thinks a fire in the foothills yesterday was started by accident. The three acre fire off of Tramway burned grass and brush in the area, but luckily did not get close to any homes. Firefighters monitored the fire throughout the night to make sure that it did not flare up. This morning, Carlsbad police need your help tracking down some vandals who went on a shooting spree this week. On Wednesday, more than 20 people woke up to find their car or house windows shot out. Police believe the vandalism be happened between midnight and 2 that morning. Detectives say it appears a BB gun was used. The damage spread all across town. So far, police have not identified any suspects. Now, if you have any information on the vandals, you are asked to call Carlsbad Police.